Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're all really well. I thought I would sit down today um, and film a September favourites. Haven't done a monthly favourites in a little while, um, but I have recently discovered a few new products that I absolutely love, so I wanted to show you all, share with you all. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. I feel like it's a little bit late, but I'm a little bit late for everything at the moment. I feel like I'm flying by the seat of my pants right now, um, adjusting to life with two little ones is uh, is fun. Let's put it that way. It's fun, but it's hectic. Um, I also feel like I'm quite hot in this polar deck, and I know I'm going to get asked about this jumper. Um, this can go in as a monthly favourite, actually, because I absolutely love this, and it was a good find. This is the H&M jumper that's kind of a copy of the Totem one um, that is ridiculously expensive, and I would never spend... I think the Totem one's like 500 and something quid. I would never spend that much money on a, on a knit because I shrink them so much. Um, but it's got the wide sleeves. It's got the slits, what I was trying to show you on the side. It's got the slits up the side, which I'm a big, big fan of. And it's long enough to cover your bum. I went for size small and I really like it. I think it's about 30 pounds. Itchy wise, a little bit itchy. A little bit itchy, but I'm super, super sensitive to itchy knitwear. I honestly thought this was not going to be the one. Um when I ordered it and I don't often order things from H&M because it's just not a very sustainable place to shop um however I am a firm believer in the fact that small kind of purchases from fast fashion places as long as you wear them and love them it's not fast if you don't treat them fast you're not treating your clothes fast if that makes sense um but yeah like I said it's not somewhere I usually shop a lot. However, this was very, very good and I love it. The one thing I would change is that the stripes are navy, not black. I would totally make them black. And if they come out with one that's black, I would get that one because I would love them to be black. Anyway, love this jumper. Um, so beauty products this month that I've been loving. First up for skincare, the Alpha H Melting Moment Cleansing Balm. I'm not sure if this is new. I think it is because I was sent it as part of a press send out from Alpha H around about the time Enzo was born. I didn't try it for a few weeks and then I started using it. I've used about half of it. This is so nice. Alpha H is a really good brand. They they got um, famous for being kind of like the original, I don't know if the original, but one of the first big kind of glycolic acid toner brands, their liquid gold. Um, and then they've kind of expanded from there. I haven't tried many of their products recently, um, but this, I just saw it and I was like, that looks like a great texture. It's so soft, it melts seamlessly into the skin, literally like melts all your makeup off and it's just divine to use. It's been probably the first cleansing balm in a while I've tried that has competed with Sarah Chapman and Emma Hardy, like that level of delicious kind of silkiness. Whereas a lot of cleansing balms are either a little bit too greasy, hard to get off or whatever. This literally melts and it comes off in an instant. So, so nice. It smells divine as well. It says with wild orange leaf extract, um, yeah, really, really nice. Um, no more uh, skincare this month, but I've got four items of makeup. The first one being um, the Rodial Peach Low Lighter. I actually got this in um, Lydia Millen's set with Cosmotips that she did that was like, if it's still available, it's amazing value for money. It's £50, £49 I think actually. Um, and you get this and the pressed powder, the glass powder from Rodeal and a few other products. And I feel like this is in the 30 pound area anyway. So if you do want to try this, that would be a good option if you want to try the other products in it because it they are very good products as well. There's a um, By Terry Balm de Rose too. Anyway, I got this as part of that set and have been using it every single day since. It's amazing. This is like, I can only describe, the only other similar product to this, I feel like is YSL Touche Eclat, which is like a highlighter but a concealer at the same time. So it's not shimmery or shiny, but it is glowy. Like this under your eyes, I've used it today. Don't know if I look particularly bright, but I feel like it is the under eye, like a razor of darkness and tiredness. Um, a big, big fan of this. And I hadn't tried it before because I'd always thought it was one of those products that um, was more suited to people who like to wear loads and loads of makeup. You know, that kind of like Instagram makeup look. Um, I'd always associated like liquid kind of low light like concealers as as that kind of thing, like quite heavy makeup. Actually, this is really, really natural. And you can just use it on your on its own um, with no other foundation. I've got foundation underneath it today, but you definitely could if you just want a little bit under your eyes and kind of down the bridge of your nose just to really brighten up everything. Really nice. 
And then another complexion item that I've totally fallen in love with and is brand new from Charlotte Tilbury is the airbrush powder. I don't normally like powders very much. I'm going to be open about that. My other powder that I've been using recently is the Rodial um, glass powder, the loose one. And I did like that. And it is a, it's quite a, a similar kind of vibe of powder. It's that like poor kind of um, perfecting, like just really like airbrush like lightweight powder this is even better than that it's so good it literally is the perfect combo with this as well just to brighten up and kind of smooth everything and set your makeup it's just really really nice it's not cakey it's not heavy it doesn't make you look dry um or just i don't know i find the older i get as well powder products are just not what i want for my skin i think they make you look older if you use too much powder if that makes sense but this just really skims over everything so nice um another favorite is a rediscovery which i purchased or repurchased which i got sent this ages ago used it all up didn't buy it again for a while and then i recently repurchased it because i needed a new brow pencil it's the urban decay brow blade um the shade I use is Neutral Nana, so good. It's a pencil, a really skinny pencil on one end and a felt tip on the other. So if you want to do like really, really define um, the inner corners, it's really, really nice for that. And I just find the color a really, really good color as well. It's not too warm or not too cool. Um, the only thing I do miss with this is having a spoolie, but you can't have the best of both worlds. If you have a double-ended situation, where would they put it, really? Um, and then another one that's a favourite that I also got at the same time as that about a week ago is the NARS. Um, this is actually from their summer collection, but it was on sale on Cult Beauty, and I'm not sure if it still is on sale. Um, it was on sale. It has a mini mascara with it, which I don't like that mascara, so I just gave it away. Um, but this palette is called the Vacances palette, um, and it was reduced to, I think, 32 Basically, it comes with a blush in Behave, and then it comes with three eyeshadows in Halam Alhambra, Comporta, and Rhodes. Um, this is just perfect for me. I'm wearing all of these today. I actually, what I do on my eyes, if I'm just doing like a day-to-day -day, um, eyeshadow, is I actually mix the blush and the darkest shade, and just use that all over my lid, and kind of, you know, just to give a bit of contour. So nice really lovely absolutely love the blush shade as well so subtle so natural and just like really really nice for my skin tone big fan of that and then lastly product wise is the living proof perfect hair day um advanced clean dry shampoo i've spoken about the living proof dry shampoo loads i'm not actually sure if i've spoken about this one before i probably have but i've been using this like basically every day because i've been in the gym a lot um i'm trying to get my strength back and my fitness back after having enzo and it's it's actually been great, I've been loving it, but I don't have the time and don't want to wash my hair every day. My hair's really dry, it needs washing like once or twice a week, and I don't want to like overwash it. I colour it as well, so I don't want to be like stripping colour and messing around with that. Um, and this is just really, really, really good. Um, I'd say I use it most days, pretty much every day, except when days that I've actually washed my hair. Um, and it's very, very good at actually keeping your hair feeling fresh like i don't think i've washed my hair in about five or six days um and what i do when i go in the gym is i tie it up and right before i go especially if i'm gonna have um if i'm gonna go on the peloton like spinning is the sweatiest form of exercise in my opinion if i'm doing like um weights or whatever i don't necessarily sweat as much but if i'm gonna know i'm gonna be really really sweaty i'll tie my hair back i'll spray like a halo of this in and in the back as well all around my hairline um and just leave it like i don't run it through i just spray it once it's already tied up and then when i get out of the gym spray it again and then blast it with a hair dryer sounds gross if you like washing your hair a lot it probably sounds really gross but if you've got kind of thick hair and you don't want to wash it all the time it works so so well um in terms of other favorites i do actually have i've got a tv series favorite um which is blackbird if any of you guys have watched this if you're into kind of true crime or murder mystery or anything like that it's so so good it's a series it's a short series i think it's about six episodes on um apple tv i think pretty sure it's apple tv and it's got taron edgerton in it who is one of my faves love him um and essentially he plays a drug dealer who gets put into prison for 10 years. This is kind of a spoiler, but not because it's in the like synopsis of the show. Um, and essentially he gets a kind of um, 
an offer from the FBI to go undercover and go into this maximum security prison and make friends with a serial killer where he kind of is charged with finding out where this guy buried the bodies of the girls that he killed and it is a true story and I've actually like researched the story after watching the show and it's very very close to like what really happens the guy who Taron Egerton plays in the show actually wrote a book and etc but anyway it's very very good and if you're into that kind of stuff and you haven't already watched it I would 100% recommend and the other thing that I watched this month that I really liked I'm probably quite late to the um, party with this one because I think it won a load of Oscars this year but like I said I've, I've been like the last few few months have been a bit crazy because I've got a new baby and it's been just like madness um but it is coda um which is essentially coda stands for child of deaf adults so it's like a it's a film um that kind of follows this girl who wants to be a singer and she comes from a family of an entirely deaf family so her parents are deaf and her brother's deaf and it's just a very heartwarming film i often find films that win like the big awards at the oscars are um not that like watchable but this was we watched it on sunday night and it was just such a heartwarming like it was just a really lovely film and it just made you smile and i really liked it and if you want something that's kind of um heartwarming and nice i feel like we all need that right now because the news is so dire at the moment and just i feel like everything is just miserable and yeah anyway if you need something to make you smile i would recommend watching that um that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you very soon. Lots more Christmas content and baby content coming up um, and beauty content as well. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.